There's a new skirmish in the Affordable Care Act known as Obamacare. House Republicans passed a bill on Friday tacking on new security requirements. Meanwhile, the Obama administration ended the contract with the company that managed the error-plagued healthcare.gov website. Bill Plants in our Washington Bureau. Bill, good morning. Morning, Anthony. You know, it's been three and a half months since the disastrous debut of healthcare.gov. Now, things have improved, but problems do persist. Now the administration has decided to fire the main technology contractor for the website. In a deal expected to be announced next week, the Government Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Service is awarding a $90 million plus contract to technology consultant Accenture and dropping CGI Federal, the contractor which built the healthcare website and has been working to repair it. Republicans, meanwhile, continue to criticize the Health Care Act, charging that personal information may be at risk. They led a bipartisan effort Friday to pass a requirement that the administration notify consumers if their information has been compromised on the health care exchange. Most reconsiders laid upon the table. House Speaker John Boehner praised the passage of the bill in a statement Friday, saying, quote, Americans have the right to know if the president's health care law has put their personal information at risk. And today's bipartisan vote reflects that concern. The White House opposes the measure, saying website security already meets the strictest of standards. When consumers fill out their online marketplace applications, they can trust that the information that they are providing is protected by stringent security standards. Trying to get, spread the word out, get everyone signed up. Uh, the president, continuing the administration effort to enroll healthy young adults, met Friday over lunch with five young people. The topic encouraging Generation Y 20 and 30 somethings to sign up because without their insurance premiums, it'll be prohibitively expensive to treat older, sicker people. But the White House remains relentlessly upbeat, at least in public. They say that enrollment in Obamacare is robust. But they do acknowledge some continuing problems with the website, and they are very concerned about getting enough younger people to sign up. Anthony Benita. Bill Plant, thank you, Bill.